What is client script? Client script is one of the suite script type. Client scripts are usually executed on your browser side, which means your client side. So client script usually gets triggered when you load a form for editing purpose or you're creating a new sales order or if you're changing or rendering any field values or if you're selecting a line item and if you're adding a new line item and if you're saving that record. At this point, the client script gets executed and usually this client script will get executed only on create, edit and copy. It won't get executed on the view mode of the record. Now let's take a quick example of how to create this client script. To create a suit script file from my Visual Studio code, I'm going to press Ctrl Shift P. From here, I'm going to select suit cloud create suit script file. And the script type would be client script. I'm not going to make use of any of these modules as of now. So I'm going to proceed further without any selection. I'm going to choose the folder as suit scripts. Let's provide a name for this. Let's say what is client script. And I will click enter on the name. I can see in the bottom it has been triggered. We can clearly see the Visual Studio code has created our client script file. Now let's scroll down completely. And if I go to the return section, I can see all the entry points available for this client script starting from page in it, the field chain till the save record. So for all the entry points, I'm going to just place few locks just to see when this entry points gets triggered in our browser. Now I have added all the locks like log.debug and console.log. The reason why I've added console.log is this console.log will get executed on your browser console. So I will show you how to open the console in a browser and to see this log. And also this log.debug, we can see it in our script deployment page. So I have placed these two lines in all the entry points, which says uh, respective entry point has been triggered. For page init, field change, same way I have placed till save record. Now let's proceed further in uploading this file in your account. So to upload this file, I will click Alt Shift U. I will click Continue. In order to create a script record, I am going to navigate to Customization, Scripting, Scripts, and I am going to click on New. We know what is our file name. So I am going to search for what is line script, and you can see it has recognized. So I am going to tab off and click Create Script Record. We are in the create script record page. We can see NetSuite has recognized this as client script and the version as 2.2. It will provide some meaningful name. ID. Now let's save the script record. And we can see in our client script scripts tab, it has recognized all the entry points. These two entry points are a new entry points provided from NetSuite. We can discuss both these two entry points in a separate section. So let's proceed in deploying this client script. So I'm going to click deploy script. So let's apply this client script on purchase order. Let's provide the ID as well. So we're going to test this client script. So let's leave the status as testing. Event type, if you clearly notice, it provides three options, copy, create, and edit. It does not provide an option for view, which means the client script is not supported on view mode of your record. Client script will get executed only on copy, create, and edit. Right now, we'll leave these field as empty so that it gets triggered on all these three entry points and we'll leave the log level to debug and the deploy checkbox is also checked since we are going to test it we are not going to worry about the audience subsidiaries and the employees so let's save the script deployment we have successfully saved a script deployment and also if you clearly notice for this client script we don't have an option of execute as role here usually when you try to deploy your server side script such as like a user event script it will have an option of a field called as execute as rule but here we don't have this a uh, role option which means this client script will execute based on your current rule which you are logged in so in order to create my purchase order record i'm going to navigate to transactions purchase so i'm going to click enter purchase order let's open the console also by clicking function f12 so you can clearly see a page has been triggered when this particular page has been loaded in your browser now let's check the other entry points so in order to test that i'm going to clear this logs so let's say i'm going to type a memo value for this and i'm going to click tab off i can see two events has been triggered one is validate field and the other one is field change so now let's select the vendor from here so let's say i'm going to click advertising world and i can see the validate field and the field change is being triggered and also the post sourcing is also being triggered the reason why post processing is getting triggered is uh, the moment I select the vendor, I can automatically see the 
sourcing is being append on the subsidy record currency and all those so that is the reason post sourcing has been triggered now if i just go back to my script deployment and if i click the execution log sub tab and if i click refresh i can see all the logs which we added in our script and those logs has been also triggered and if i just go to the first log we should be able to see our page in it also now let's go back to our purchase order now let's go to the items of this so i will clear all the logs on the right hand side i will try to select an item the moment i select an item i can see the validate field and field changes getting triggered and also the post sourcing has been getting triggered the reason behind is the moment i select item it automatically shows the quantity description and all those stuffs so for those fields also the validate field field changes getting triggered and also the post sourcing is being triggered so now let's clear this log one more time and let's click add and the moment i click add i can see the validate line got triggered sublist change has been triggered and after adding the cursor has been pointing it to the new line and because of that line it is also getting triggered so let's try another item clear all the logs let's try to remove this we can see validate delete has been triggered on this point now now let's try to select this line and clear the log and let me try to click the insert button now i can see validate insert has been triggered now let's proceed with with a one line item and i'm going to click save and i click save you can clearly see the save record is getting triggered now we can see our purchase order has been saved so this client script can be used to validate the user entered data on the record and perform some kind of validations on the record which is being entered by the user so in our upcoming videos we will clearly go through each and every single entry point of page init field change post sourcing and tell the save record with some basic example